Hello everybody, Alex King 37 here. Um, so welcome back to part two of my Skyrim Rares. Um, this episode is for a um, long sword um, called Ghost Blade, and you find that Ghost Blade in the ruin called Anselvund. In the ruin called Anselvund, which is here. Um, it's near. You can probably go from Windham. It's, it's not really close to any cities. It's close. It's in between Riften and. Um, Windhelm, so you can probably make a V with it. So if you just imagine making a V, you can kind of make a really fast kind of V thing. <laughs> um, there's White Run, so it's all the way down. Yeah. So I've cleared out the um, the way um, to Ghost Blade. Um, you have to fight. I've got to fight like one more enemy um, to get the Ghost Blade. Uh, I'll just show you where you've got to go. Okay, so just follow me. Oh, it's a bit small. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Start again. So you go from here, up here. Down here. You can go above as well, it doesn't really make a difference. There's a lot of traps in here, as you know, and I've spawned a few. There's a few that can probably kill you in one go, so be very careful where you're standing. You eventually do get a um, map marker, but it eventually it becomes a kind of a quest, um, and the ghost blade comes during the quest. So, it's only a short quest. And it's only a miscellaneous quest. So you can kind of follow where you're going to go. As you see, I've got a map marker above. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this is one of the reasons I wanted to show you. This is for a puzzle. Um, now, the way to figure out what the puzzle is, this is so you know for future times, it's down here, you can see there's a snake there, there there's a dolphin, there's, um, there there's um, an eagle, and there's this snake again. Um, so, so at the top that's the, um, the codes for it, so it's bird, snake, dolphin, snake. You could you pull this lever and then that opens over there. There's a trap here, so be careful. If you run across it though, it should make a difference. So you like spitting fire and stuff. There's a lot of traps in this area, so yes, see, mind it. Um, there's another trap through here, I've disabled them now. Okay, and I'm back to them again. You can turn it off by here. A few more traps. You need to take the key off over there. Uh, yeah. It should be it's on that pedestal there. I'm 
thinking also about making my houses kind of you know let me show around the house I buy houses I buy. Um, if you want any um, videos shown on anything on Skyrim or any rare items you might want to look at, which I might not have thought of um, or might not even know about, then let me know. Okay, we're almost there. Now. Okay, be careful here because this one time around here I almost died when I played it for the first time and I did die. I think actually sometimes I have died. I still had a still area there. Um, you just go around here, so try not to stand on it. We die. People stand on it. It's one of those things when it goes into the air and you get hit by spikes. Okay, here we are. This is the room where I thought it was. Okay. She's not. I don't. I can't remember. She's yeah. She's quite hard fight. I'm only low level. Oh my god. Come on, leave me alone. Just kill that first. You should get yeah, it, got that. Be careful of that. I, she is quite hard. And I only played on that on Norvis because I'm because I knew I remembered that she was quite hard on them. Um, on um uh, Adept and no, I didn't want to die. There's a few ghosts. And then they give you the sword. And now they disappeared. And there's the first blade. Um, but first, if you might want to know about that, there's one of the unusual gems, the Saint Baron Zaya, um, is here. So, you know. That might help you as well. Uh, here's a ghost blade. Uh, so let's pick it up. Um, here it is. It's invisible. It's it looks like an ancient Norse sword, but you know, ghosty, ghostly and invisible. Um, it does 11 damage. Not that good. I'm only a low level, so and my steel short sword, which is fine, does 13 damage. You know, it isn't the best of swords, but it only weighs one. It does three points of extra damage, ignoring armor. So. It, it does do four human damage pretty much. Um and it's three hundred gold. Um so let's oh. there it is. You know, one it weighs one pound, which is, you know, really useful. So you know, that's it. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe on my videos. Um check out um part three when I um put it up.